Claver Fryer and Gabriel Otrin weren't sure if they would get out of this elevator alive. We uh, passed the first level down into the basement. We uh, felt and heard a, a strong whoosh. They were headed down to the parking garage to move their cars after learning rainwater had started to flood in, but they had no idea just how much. Describe the moment as that elevator hits the ground floor and that water starts coming in. It was, uh, it was an immediate shock, sort of a moment of disbelief. You no know, water started coming in right away from the bottom. They say within minutes, the water was up to their waists. As the water started coming in, we were just looking for emergency instructions, procedures, anywhere that we could, but there was not really any guidance. They managed to get a hold of an operator using the elevator's emergency phone, but the conversation was over in seconds. Right at that moment, the water rose to the level of the speaker and fried all the electronics inside. Otrin then attempted to call for help from his cell phone, but couldn't get a signal. They began looking for an escape hatch. My first thought was to, you know, uh, uh, climb up on the, the rail and, and, and try to push the, the top panel out because, you know, that's, that's what you've seen in movies. They weren't able to open it wide enough to escape, but they did pry a big enough gap to get a cell signal and call 911. Police arrived within minutes, constables Josh McSweeney and Ryan Barnett. And we can hear them inside screaming for help and saying that the water was getting too high and that uh, they needed us. So we started trying to pull the door open, but it was just, the pressure was too great. So uh, Josh immediately went and went upstairs and got a, a pry bar. While police scrambled to try and pry the elevator door open from the outside, the water level inside was just a couple of feet from the top. Fryer and Otrin feared they may be running out of time. The water was also rising for McSweeney and Barnett. I'd say by the time we first got there, and then by the time I got the second crowbar, uh, the water risen maybe six plus inches within a few minutes. Yeah, at that time we're now treading water because we can no longer yeah. touch touch the ground. The only thing that gave me some stillness at that moment is that I said I'm, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to die in this dirty water in an elevator. That's not the way that I'm going to go. It took a few minutes that felt more like hours for the men trapped inside the elevator, but police were able to pry the doors open with a crowbar. We knew the situation, what was going on, but uh, there was no panic. We we're both pretty calm and. Uh, we were just looking at, you know, like what we needed to do. I just remember being happy that I knew I was going to see my family. Greg Ross, CBC News, Toronto.